Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, today is now the number three of three hauls that I've done. This is the Ulta haul, and I this probably is the one that has the most stuff, so it might take the longest, although I know my Walmart and Target one was like over 20 minutes. Anyways, not the point. All the stuff is in this bag right here. Um, and then I have a couple of brushes that I have already like taken out of package and stuff that we'll go through too. But I'm going to go ahead and get started because it will be a long time. Again, with this one, I'm not going to do any swatches or <clears throat> that because it will take forever and I just, uh, for sake of time, or uh, we won't do swatches. But if you want to see swatches or first impressions or a review on a product, just um, put it down in the comment section and I'll be glad to film that for you. Okay? So, without further ado, let's jump on in. Hold on. Okay. So, the first thing that I'm just pulling stuff out of here, so I'm not going to go in any order. It's just whatever I grab next. The first thing that I have is called this Sun Mate Applicator. And what it is, is it can apply lotion, self-tanner, um, sun care, skin care, acne care products, astringent, sports creams, body lotions and oils, sunless tanners, topical an analgesic, analgesics or whatever. Yeah. Um, but what I got this for is for sunless tanner. I'm sure you can tell that I'm not tan. If you could see my legs, they would glow. But um, I actually picked up some sunless tanner that I want to try out. So, um, and I can't you know reach I'm bigger so I can't reach all the way back there and for some reason I, I don't really want like my fiance to help me because if it becomes streaky or whatever I'd rather blame myself than anybody else anyways so what this is is it folds up like it starts out like this and then you fold it out and it has like this little squishy pad and it, it's some kind of foam I guess but it's not it says it doesn't um, like s soak up the product so just says after usage simply wash with soapy warm water and allow to air dry before closing so it's a it's derived from EVA a specially designed foam chosen because of its ability to withstand the many chemicals found in skincare products it applies more evenly than your hand yet does not waste costly products so that looks that's good and it's like a foot long so you can actually get back there and really um buff it in so i'm excited to see if this really works so that's the first thing the next thing that i got are some eyeshadows these i found on the end of the eye like the drugstore makeup and these are called in in the eco eyeshadows it's a like completely vegan or all organic line and I got almost every eyeshadow they had um, this one's popped out but it this one's called mahogany and they're real soft and buttery they they are excellent they are a little pricey but I think you're really paying for the organic type um, enriched with organic jojoba, jojoba oil, chamomile, vitamin C and E, and it's certified. Um, they're made in Australia. They're certified like uh, organic or something. I don't know. Anyways, so I got a lot of the colors that they had. That one's mahogany. This one, I can't remember what the name of it was, but it's a oh, what was the name of this one I knew I was going to forget it these, these are the only two that just have the numbers without the name on them so I don't know I'll have to if I remember it I'll um, put it down in the bottom description box this one's called Mojito it's just a really pretty green um, rose gold coral And this last one is called Topaz, and it's a really pretty blue color. So I'm excited to see how those work. I, I haven't um, played with them or anything, so I don't know how well they blend or anything. 
And then the next thing, and also that I, I love the clearance section. So I hopped back there and I found some Essence eyeshadows that were on sale for $1.29. I got this one's called Fox in a Box and it's a metallic finish, is what it says. Yeah. Then I got Get Ready. This one is Shimmer. It's darker brown. And then a blue called Miss, Atlant Miss Atlantis. Atlantis. Really pretty, and then another. Uh, this one wasn't on clearance, but it was Essence. When I have all these metal glam shadows, this is the only one I didn't have. And this one's called Golden Up. Now they look really shimmery if you can see in there the glitter, but once you get through the top coat, they're not as shimmery and they're really chalky at the t on the top. So you just have to like really work through, rub through the first layer, and then and then it. It's not as shimmery or glittery. Although, I did grab them because I like the glitter, but oh well. Okay, the next thing I got is some concealers. I grabbed, I grabbed another one. I think I grabbed, yeah, yeah here it is. Sorry. I grabbed two NYX conceal, their HD concealer. I got one in porcelain and then the other one in light. So. Yeah. And then I heard so many people rave about these Maybelline Fit Me concealers that I wanted to try it. So I grabbed the two of them. I grabbed this one in light and this one in fair. So I'm excited to see how those work. I heard that these are really good and these are um, really comparable to the NARS one. NARS concealer. Okay. Uh, also from Essence, I did grab, I don't know what it is about concealer this time. Um, sorry, the kids are watching wild cracks um i got essence match to cover cream concealer it's just a double concealer this one's in um, natural beige i think this is the lightest one that they had the next thing oh there's some more essence that i got i forgot about these i got these from ulta as well these are the new essence all about eyeshadow palettes this one's all about candies and it's just really pretty oh, of course i'm not gonna be able to open it pastel colors so pretty. And then All About Paradise. Pretty bright colors. And then this one's All About Nude. And I love this one. This one is just absolutely gorgeous. They have another one. I think the other one is All About Sunrise. But it has like darker browns and oranges. And they didn't have it in stock. But I don't think I really would have bought that one anyway. It's just because I'm not a big fan of the dark, dark browns and the orange, orangey colors. So... Okay, the next thing I got were all five of the new Maybelline Color Tattoo Leather Collections. Um, I got Chocolate Suede, which is a nice dark brown color. Um, Creamy Beige, which I thought was lighter than what it is now. I thought that would have been like a good one, a new, a good dupe for like painterly paint pot by MAC, but it looks darker now. And then Deep Forest, um, Dramatic Black, and then the last one is called Vintage Plum, and I absolutely love this color. So, And these are all matte, which are really nice. Okay, the next thing I got was I got a couple of finishing powders by NYX. I grabbed the NYX Radiant Finishing Powder, and this one is the Brighton one, and then I grabbed the NYX Sun Kissed Radiant Finish, Radiant Finishing Powder. So this one is um, Brighton, and this one is in Sun Kissed. So excited to use these. Okay. Sorry, I probably should have pulled everything out before. Starting. A um, couple of uh, palettes from L'Oreal that I got are these new L'Oreal Color Reach palettes. This one is the one in Emerald Conquest. However, mine is broken and I'm very upset because I really like this color. So I think I'm pretty sure they'll let me exchange it. If not at Ulta, at Walmart, I think you can exchange it. But that's the green one. You can see that's busted. Oh well. 
then this one is Rose Nude. And then Perpetual Nude. So, I grab, I got a, okay. I grabbed a couple of lip products. I got two more of the butter lipsticks. I got this one in hot tamale. It's a really nice orangey red color. It's kind of scary. <laughs> and then I got fun size, which is a really nice nude color. I think I'm going to really like this one. I also grabbed this one because Casey Holmes here on YouTube grabbed grab this and the color she, um, really pretty it's called it's from the Rimmel I think it's Rimmel yeah the Moisture Renew lipsticks they just got a new package new packaging but it's called Notting Hill Nude and that is just a really pretty kind of like a dusty color nude and I really love those kinds of lipsticks so grab that another thing I grabbed is um right up by the register they have a little impulse purchases you know everything that's so little I grabbed the Boing concealer and the Eye Bright duo and I got they didn't have the the 01 so I got 02 um, I basically got it for the Eye Bright just because I could the my Ulta doesn't have like an extended benefit um, area so they don't carry that but um, I really wanted to try the Eye Bright which is really nice excited to try that and the O2 the darker concealer would probably be good for like um, blemishes and stuff okay. and then um, let's go last thing I got before we move on to the new palettes I got is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow the highlighting powder duo and I got this because Jaclyn Hill I saw it in one of her videos and it was so pretty and it has the pink and then the yellow toned highlight. So pretty. I mean, and it just has the nicest glow to it. My hands are, and it's this right here. But I think that's gonna be really pretty. <laughs> okay, come here. All right, and here is my son, Austin. Say hi. 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 Okay, um, one of the last, th this is the last thing before we get to the palettes I got was the new Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner. I have not tried this yet, although I am very excited to. I'm, um, I, uh, are you showing them? I think that this is going to be, going to help a lot with doing, like, the cat eyes and everything. So, I'm really excited to try that. Okay, and then moving on to palettes that I've got. So, it's been four months since I really filmed the video, and I've been shopping since then, so I've got palettes up until then, too. So, a couple of the pal new palettes that I got was, I got the Urban Decay Electric Palette with all the nice, pretty, bright colors. So, I think everybody's seen that one, and that one's kind of old now. I also grabbed, my Ulta had these feminine palettes on sale for like $16 so I grabbed one and um, it's got some really pretty colors I love this color bordello right here and then that comes with a little lip gloss so and for $16 you can't beat that uh, the next palette that I got is the it cosmetics uh, naturally pretty palette and that's it's awesome you have um they're all mattes and then you have a transforming pearl shade so it's i think that's going to be a really good palette are you showing them that okay and then of course i also bought the Lorac pro palette 2 i think Lorac pro 2 palette something like that um which I love these they're more cool toned now you have your mattes on top and your shimmers on the bottom and I love the first one so I knew I was going to love the second one um this came out one day and then or this came out one day and then this came out like three days later so what I did was I actually waited until this came out and I went and grabbed both of them because I wanted both of them okay and then the last couple of palettes that I got were the new Too Faced um, one is the Country, the Nashville Nudes palette, and then the Rock and Roll palette. These are absolutely gorgeous. 
I'm excited about these. You, of course, you have your little guide up here that tells you different how to do different looks, but these colors are gorgeous. So I'm excited to do some looks with these. And then the rock and roll palette is, um, yeah, I see that. Thank you. Rock and roll palette is, of course, darker, but you still have some nice light colors and stuff, too. So these are really pretty. This one's going to be really good for fall. And um, I can actually see myself, like, using shadows out of both of these palettes for a look. So there's those two. Now, the last things that I got from Ulta were some makeup brushes. So, um, okay, so the last thing I got were some brushes. I picked up a couple of brushes from Eco Tools. Um, I got the um, Sharpen and Smudge Duo, which this is a like a pencil brush on one end, can you see that? And then a sharpener on the other. So this would be perfect for when you're wanting to smudge out your eyeliner, you sharpen it here, and then smudge it out with a little end. And I love Eco Tool brushes. Um, and then I got their airbrush concealer brush, which is really nice too, so. Mm -hmm. I also grabbed some Ulta brushes. Uh, this one I think was old that had been in there for a while because none of them are this color anymore but it's the pointed flat eyeliner brush and I really like this and I think not only will this work for eyeliner but I think it'd be really good at smudging color underneath your lower lash line so I really like that brush and then I grab let's see here let me grab all the new Ulta brushes that I got So, um, this is the Ulta eyeshadow number two brush. I think this is a smaller one. Then I got the angle eyeshadow brush. And then the crease brush, which I wouldn't really use this for my crease. I would say this is more for like pencil brush. Um, I then got the crease, another, it's just a different crease brush. This is fluffier. And then I got the small eyeshadow brush. See, these are two different. They're but all the Ulta brand, but they redid the packaging. Let me see this one, buddy. See, so the I think these are the older ones, and then these are the newer ones. So, um, but here's this is the small eyeshadow brush right here. Then I have the large eyeshadow brush. The this is the eyeshadow number one. This is one of the older brushes, which is just a flat shader brush. It's, I think that would be better for concealer, but yeah. And then this one's the pointed eyeliner brush, and I really like this. I know it's kind of thick, but I really like this pointed eye, eyeliner brush. And then the last brush that I got from the Ulta brand is the angled foundation which is um, I think this would be really good for buffing in your foundation so I'm excited to try all these brushes um, another thick couple of brushes I got were my Ulta had these in a cup and they were on clearance and they're from pure minerals but they're they're called the utility brushes so I grabbed a few of them because they had a whole cup full of on clearance and they're really nice I mean they're they're um, they're kind of tapered, but they're fluffy and they're very soft. So I think this would be good for um, blending, blending in the crease. And if you want a more precise crease, I think that would work too. Also, I grabbed a couple of Anastasia brushes. Okay, I grabbed the number seven brush. It's the mini angled and spoolie duo. And then I grabbed the number 20 brush, which is the flat definer brush with a spoolie on the end. So, and I really love these for doing my brows. Sorry, my camera just shut off. Um, so I have just a couple more things to do. Um, this is a, uh, this is the brush that came with the 
or that they recommended to get with the Magnificent Metals shadows from Stila. And what it has is it has a kind of like a silicone uh, eyeliner type thing on one end, and then it has a chisel tip on the other, and it um, it's stiffer, so you mix it with that. So I wanted to try this since they suggested get this, and it's called the Double Ended Silicone mm. Eyeliner Applicator. And then, um, I got, also, they have studio gear brushes there at my Ulta, and this is, um, one of the only brushes they had left, and it's the number 41, and I think it's an accent, it's a sable accent brush, so, um, I like that, so I wanted to try to use that, I haven't tried any studio gear brushes, so, um, uh-uh, no sir. And then the last thing that I got were these Smashbox had these um, a while back. It was the travel brush set, and it came with three. It came with a travel fan brush. Can get it open. No, sir. Anyways, it's a travel fan brush, and then you got a uh, an eyeshadow brush, and then you got a domed like. I guess this would be like crease or blending brush. But I grabbed two of these. These were on clearance for like $7. So I grabbed a couple of those. So I think that's it. Alright. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. This is number three of my three hauls. Um, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Also, if you have any um, tutorial requests, first impressions, swatches or anything that you want with any of these products go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below and i'll gladly film those for you um other than that um please subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos i do have a giveaway video coming up um probably within the next week um, other than that i'll see you in my next one bye guys